So shaitan has been created as a test for mankind. We always have a force within us that tells us not to do evil. And we have a force within us that tells us to do the evil. So we have the angels who encourage us to do good. And we have shaitan who discourages us from good and encourages us to do bad. So if we were to look at the verses of the Quran, we would come to realize very quickly that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted success to the one who can protect himself from shaitan. This is why every time we commence the Quran, what do we say? Allah says, وَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ And when you read the Quran, then seek refuge in Allah from shaitan, the accursed. If you are protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the shaitan, then you have succeeded. So the shaitan has some plans. The plan that he has is to deviate mankind by beautifying evil and making it look like it's good. So we have something known as our desires, our lusts, perhaps that which we feel would help us and benefit us in the short term. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has dictated that it is not good for us. If that is the case, leave it. It can never be good for you. Whatever Allah says is good for you will be good, even if it has restriction in it. And whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says is bad for you, it is bad. Even if it seems very sweet, very tasty, and it seems like you want to get it done with. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. In Surah An-Nur, and just to spend a moment on the meaning of this term, An-Nur. Nur is light. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the ultimate light. Allah Nur samawati wal ard. Indeed, the Nur is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Nur of the heavens and the earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a beautiful verse. So if we look at the rules and regulations in the surah, they are governing the behavior of a Muslim. The moral standards of a Muslim are discussed in the surah because if you are to behave yourself, there will be a nur that will emanate from within you and you will be able to feel the closeness to Allah. But if you let yourself loose and you let yourself go, it shows on your face to begin with and thereafter in your link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if we look at surah 24, that is the surah to nur verse number 21, Allah speaks of the footsteps of the devil, the footsteps of shaitan. Now to save myself from these footsteps, I need to know what they are. So Allah says, Ya amanu la shaitan. Oh, you who believe, do not follow the footsteps of shaitan. For indeed, whosoever follows the footsteps of shaitan will order people to engage in immorality and evil. Now that means two things. Shaitan encourages immorality and evil. And those who follow in the footsteps of shaitan, they will encourage you to do that which is immoral and evil. So if you want to know whether you are in good company or bad, you just need to ask yourself, this company of mine, does it encourage me to behave immorally? Does it encourage me to become a person who is evil or to do that which is evil? If the answer is yes, you are following the footsteps of shaitan. And if the answer is no, then inshallah you will be successful. So you want to know the path of shaitan. Shaitan deviates in many ways, primarily by turning people away from worshipping Allah.